So some of the changes from the past tech ends, I guess you could say, are it's made more accessible to newer or more novice players. For example, the addition of the rage arts and some of the other mechanics to kind of make the game uh, give it almost a 2D feeling as far as, you know, very flashy but uh, very easy to use. And also some of the features uh, added to make it more interesting to watch, such as some of the slowdown when the characters are trading blows and things like that. It's kind of difficult. Uh, you know, we did try these cinematic flares, camera rise and such, for um, previous Tekkens. However, if you're stopping that for cinematics quite often in the gameplay, then it slows down the, the tempo of the match itself and can become kind of a nuisance to the people playing the game. Well, some of the elements we just mentioned obviously make the game more interesting to watch. But one in particular, I guess, would be the slowdown. When you think of real martial arts, and also fighting games, this translates well, I think. The most interesting uh, instant is when you see uh, the person about to be knocked out, for example, in a boxing match or whatever. And uh, during those sports events, you'll see kind of a replay afterwards that slows down the action so you can see what really happened. But uh, in Tekken 7, it actually slows it down as it's happening so you can see what's going on. And also, to add that kind of thrilling element that you don't know which one's going to land, what's going to happen. It's uh, kind of hard to really talk in, in depth about the VR at the moment. Uh, we can't really say, you know, Tekken is a, a fighting game and the core mechanics and such are going to still be Tekken, so VR obviously is going to be, you know, one portion of the game, but not necessarily the whole thing is going to be in VR. There is one thing that can be said though, is when people think VR, the obvious opinion that always comes up is, well that's going to be so hyped for Tekken, it'll be the first person fighting someone. But uh, Harada-san has actually tried this very early on in a different VR headset, and it's very clear that, and you can imagine this if you think uh, your brother or sister or friend or whatever came up to you, or a martial artist started punching or kicking right in front of your face, how jarring it would be and uh, I think you can get an idea of how uh, not fun that is, just as most people would imagine. The screen was fixed in that instance where VR, the camera is totally free, you're looking through it all around, so it's quite different. I don't know if you're aware that Bandai Namco Entertainment in Japan has a actual location in uh, Odaiba where we're the first one to do like a coin operation VR where your average person can go in and pay a certain amount and play these different games. And one of them was one that Harada-san designed uh, in collaboration with Production IG who did, uh, I think the English name is Ghost in the Shell, uh, where you actually get into this giant robot and not only is it VR but the, the uh, machine itself moves around so you actually feel like you're in the robot. Uh, and so that was another project in VR he's working. There's a very famous player out of South Korea called JDCR. Uh, he uses the Heihachi and Armor King. But uh, he would, he always watches him on the stream and etc. And thinks, I never want to play him just because he has no chance of winning. It feels like he's not even a human opponent, but he's you know like a machine kind of. So uh, he respects him a lot, but he doesn't want to play against him. <laughs>